Ryan will be bringing in his capuchin monkey. And we made this really neat video. One of our best ever. Wait till you see it. It's called Five Little Monkeys, and we actually got them to jump on the bed. Not only does it make you laugh, but it's also a fun way to teach you counting. Well, I can't wait to see it, but first I have an assignment for you. Every year the station picks a project in our community that we help with, and this year we've chosen a homeless shelter downtown. There are a lot of children there who need our help. And your assignment is to help us raise money for the shelter. But we're just kids. What can we do? You can do a lot, and I'm sure you will. Now, let's see those jumping monkeys. Five little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. And Mrs. Wilson was very firm that we need to find a way to help out the shelter. But what can we do? We're just kids. That's exactly what I said. There's got to be something we can do. But what? We're on the air in five, four, three, two. Roll the opening title in three, two, one, and take it. And cue the host. Good morning and welcome to the Kid Songs TV show, the one and only show made by kids, for kids, and star kids. Hi, I'm Christian Wood of Ventura. And I'm Alexander Paul. And I'm Billy Biggle. We're your hosts for the day. And what a wonderful day it is. We have lots of great music videos for you. And our special guest today is a monkey. What's a monkey? A cute furry creature. I bet he's not as cute as me. Of course not, Billy. Now let's get started with a very cute song about some very cute barnyard animals. Like Little Bunny Foo Foo. I went to the animal fair. The birds and the beasts were there. family is very special to us. They're very friendly and so, so sweet. So let's be careful in how we handle them. Can I pick them up? Sure you can. Mrs. Wilson's assignment. She was serious. This assignment gives us a chance to do something that really makes a difference. But the question is how? What are we doing next? Enter to Splish Splash. Oh, good. I love this video. And cue. This next video features some very talented high divers. And some very acrobatic dolphins. And a very silly song. And when we put these three things together, we got a very amusing result. It's called Splish Splash. Splish Splash, I was taking a bath Long about a Saturday night Yeah! I got a dog just relaxing in the tub Thinking everything was alright Well, I stepped out of the tub Put my feet on the floor I wrapped the towel around me And I opened the door And then I Splish Splash I jumped back in the bath Well, how was I to know there was a party going?
dancing shoes on. Yeah, I was a rolling and a strolling, beating with the feeling, moving and a grooving, expression and expression. Hey, yeah. up with any ideas from Mrs. Wilson's project. Hi, guys. Hi, Billy. We need some help. We need to find a way to get some things for the homeless kids. Oh, we'll just have to find a way. Billy, you say that whenever we have a problem. And we always do find a way, don't we? Yeah. But first, let's cue the host for the next intro. This next video is an English classic. It was written about the famous London Bridge, which used to cross the River Thames. But now it's been moved to Arizona. No, they couldn't have. They did. Let's join the Kids Songs Kids as they sing London Bridge. London Bridge is falling down, falling down. any ideas on how to raise money. Or how to get stuff for those homeless kids. Hmm, this seems to have everyone stumped. Maybe Ruby can help. Oh, oh yes, please go get Ruby. Hi kids, how can I help? Christian, Alexandra, intro to Little Deuce Coop in five, four, three, two. The Kids Songs kids got their 1950s look together for this next video. It's called Little Deuce Coop. And our version is about a showdown at the bumper car arena. They're bumping and crashing in this one and having a lot of fun.
about what we can do. Katie? I can groom pets and walk them. And I can help younger kids with their schoolwork. I can wash cars or give a tennis lesson. Now we're getting somewhere. Hi. We're making a list of all the different things that we can do for people. You mean we're going to sell our services? Now that's a great idea. I can give Japanese lessons. We could let someone come visit on the show. And we could have a sale of things we don't want or need anymore. Oh, this is great. <laughs> this is going to work. Speaking of work, cue the host. And cue. Boop, boop, did it, Adam, one of my two. What? Boop, boop, did it, Adam, one of my two. Do you have a cold? No. There they go again. Who? Those three little fishies. Are you feeling OK? I feel great. Watch. Down in the meadow in a little bitty pool Swam three little fishies and a mama fishy too Swim, said the mama fishy, swim if you can And they swam and they swam all over the dam Boop, boop, did em, dad, em, one of two Boop, boop, did em, dad, em, one of two Boop, boop, did em, dad, em, one of two And they swam and they swam right over the dam to either an adult or a kid. That will sell in a minute. I'll do magic at a kid's birthday party. Ooh, this is so great. And cue the host. A few weeks ago, we made a video that has had all of us laughing ever since. It tells the story of five naughty monkeys and what happened when they jump on their mommy's bed. You can probably guess if they get in trouble, but you'll probably be surprised by how much fun they had doing it. Kevin, please roll five little monkeys. Five little monkeys. survived her bed jumping adventure and is now feeling fine. So please welcome Mark, Shayna, and Janet Bates. Thank you, Christian. Thank you, Alexandra. Good morning, Mark. Hi. Who's your little friend? This is Shayna. Hello, Shayna. 
What kind of monkey is she? Shane is a capuchin monkey. Where do they live? They come from South America, the jungles. Do they jump naturally? Yeah, they're great jumpers. They live up in the trees and they play around in the trees and jump. That's their whole life. Are they very much like humans? Well, no. We're related in that we're all primates. All the way from monkeys, apes, to people are all primates. But other than that, there's not a lot. They're more closely related to a bird, actually. They behave like a bird. Oh, but their hands and feet look a lot like human hands and feet. Well, they are. Their hands and feet are a lot like uh, human hands. You can see she has a thumb on her foot. Give me a hand. Give me your foot. <laughs> she has a thumb on her foot, and they can hold things. It's called an opposable thumb. It reaches over, and that's how they grab things. They also have a thumb on their hand, which oh. is opposable. Is she easy to train? They're not really easy to train. They're, they're kind of difficult because, one, they're real flighty. They like to take off to the tops of the trees, and then you have to worry about getting them back. They also have a very short attention span. They, don't, they can't concentrate for very long, so you can only do a lot of little tiny sessions a day to get them to learn. What other tricks can she do? I'll see if she can do a, remember a couple of her tricks. All right, Shana, down. Good girl, good. All right, stand up, good girl. Stand up, stay. Good, bow, stand. Good girl, cover. That's it, sit, put your feet down. Feet, feet down. Give me your tail, tail. Good girl, Shana. All right, Shana, hop. There you go. Wow. Just a little bit. Is she a good pet? No. Um, actually, she's a, a working movie animal. Um, Wild animals, no matter how nice she looks with me or how friendly she looks or how human she looks, she's still a wild animal. And wild animals don't make good pets. Does she do everything you tell her? She's a nice monkey. Monkeys can be very mean, actually. And Shayna is a special monkey and is very, very, very sweet. But um, she doesn't do everything I tell her. Can I pet her? Yeah, let's see. All right, go on over there. Get up there. Good girl. She's sweet. Well, thank you very much for joining sure. us, Mark. And thank you, Chena. I can make beautiful gift certificates for the things we're going to sell. And I can organize a garage sale at my school. But that's a very big job. Don't worry, my whole class will help. Yes, the more people we get to join us on this project, the better it will be. Hey guys, it's time for Chris's top ten list in five, four, three. A few weeks ago, Chris Aguilar presented a top ten list. Ten fascinating facts about fish. And a lot of you wrote to us and told us how much you liked it. So today, his subject is monkeys. And here are the ten most fascinating facts about them. The top ten most fascinating facts about monkeys are... Number ten. The red walkery monkey is a worrier and has a grouchy expression. Number nine. The Japanese makoff is called the snow monkey. In winter, it plays in the snow and bathes in the hot springs. Number eight, all monkeys have fingerprints. Number seven, the Ganones of Africa have rainbow colors on their faces. Number six, pigtail maycocks pick ripe coconuts and drop them to the farmers. Number five, baboons are the largest of all the monkeys. Number four, Mandrels have brightly colored faces. These colored ridges are actually bone swellings. Number three, the male proboscis monkey has a large spoon-shaped nose. Number two, South America's pygmy marmoset is the smallest monkey in the world. And the number one most fascinating fact about monkeys is when the branches are too far apart for an infant to climb across by itself. The mommy spider monkey makes a bridge out of her own body. Phew. And now it's sing-along time. Today, Billy has picked a song that's been popular for a very long time. I think most of you will know it. And if you don't, you can learn it now on... Sing Along with Billy. Yes, kids, today's song is Farmer in the Dell. Now this is the one where his family just keeps growing. The farmer takes the wag, the farmer takes the wag. I hold the aerial, the farmer takes the wag, the wag takes the child. Woohoo! You'll see! Sing along with me! The farmer in the dell, the farmer in the dell. I hold the aerial, the farmer in the dell. The farmer takes the wag, the farmer takes the wag. I hold the aerial, the farmer takes the wag. The wag takes the child, the wag takes the child. 
that we are so excited about. Good, tell me about it. We're going to sell gift certificates for things that we can do to raise money. And then we'll all go shopping to buy the things that the kids at the shelter really need. This is a big project. We're all going to work on it together and get help from our families. And neighbors. And schoolmates. Children, I am really very proud of you. This is going to be wonderful. Oh, yeah. This is going to cost me money. <laughs> Mr. Forbes! I knew they could do it. They're such fantastic Kids. Yeah, I guess sometimes it seems that a job is just too big for a kid to do. But instead of giving up, I guess you just have to think a little harder to find a way. And get your friends to help you. A big job is easier and a lot more fun when you have help. Like you and me. Ruby, you are the best big sister a little boy Biggle could 